Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is TJ if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about Invisalign. Yes, I'm so excited. I finally got Invisalign. I've been wanting it for so long. And I figured why not make a series on my channel all about my Invisalign journey. Today's video is going to be all about my first 24 hours and the first few days. It's about day five now. And the experience has been <laughs> different. So let me just give you a quick backstory. So basically, I noticed that I was growing an extra tooth in the middle of my gum when I was around seven, eight years old. And I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was just a baby tooth. It was just going to fall out like how, you know, other baby teeth do. But it stayed <laughs> and it grew to be full size. So with that tooth growing to be full size, it caused the rest of my teeth to shift over, which in turn gave me crooked teeth overcrowding and it just it was just not a pretty sight don't know why i didn't do anything sooner but i feel like if i would have gotten it removed years ago when i was you know a teen or a child i probably would have had to got braces and we don't we're not doing braces I'm, i don't to everybody that has done braces or is doing braces right now kudos to you because i just can't even imagine I am struggling with Invisalign and I could take these out. So I can't even imagine having something just permanently in your teeth for years. I've always been insecure with my teeth. I never really take pictures with my teeth showing. That extra tooth just really was an eyesore, but I never, I don't know why I didn't do anything about it. I was gonna start this journey last year, but a lot of things happened with my insurance and it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on in 2020 that I was just like, you know what, the teeth can wait. But now it's a new year and I'm just like, TJ, do something for yourself. So I went to my consultation appointment in November. They have to determine if you are eligible for Invisalign or not because not everybody is eligible for it. So thank God I was. The consultation appointment should be free because they're not doing anything. They're just talking to you. So yeah, it was free, booked it in November. And when I went, um, they did some x-rays and then after the x-rays were done and they take a lot of pictures They take pictures of your front your side your left your right everything So after the x-rays was done I went to see with the doctor and he basically asked me What do you want to fix and I told him I was just like well, I have an extra tooth this crowding in the bottom and my teeth are not centered like pretty much my left front tooth is in the middle of my face and it shouldn't be that way it should be like equally you know across so the office manager is going to talk to you about pricing and all of that and then we'll get you started so the office manager put me in his office he explained what Invisalign was to me which I already knew because I've been doing a lot of research that's the thing about me if I want something I'm going to research everything about it he showed me the different kind of things that they do they did braces they did clear braces and they did um Invisalign and of course I went with Invisalign because I don't want prices so yeah he sat me down we went over prices i signed a contract and then once i signed that contract and made that first payment then we were able to go in and start the scan so basically with that machine they scan every pc and mouth and the lady told me that the trays will be ready in about a month or so and i was kind of confused because i was just okay wait they took the scan with my extra tooth so does that mean that later on in the process i'm gonna get the tooth removed whatever oh and then basically with my insurance i wasn't able to get my tooth extracted in november or december because my new insurance policy didn't start till january so that kind of like delayed my process so i got the call that my trays are ready and this was like the end of december like right before christmas and i was like oh my god i'm so excited so i made an appointment to go get my trays so i go to the doctor and this was like december 22nd and I'm like, yeah, I got the email or the call that my trays are ready. And they was just like, you still have your extra tooth. And I was like, yeah. And they was like, no, we virtually removed the tooth from your trays. And I'm just like, I wish somebody would have told me that. But anyway, so I couldn't get the trays that day because they already virtually removed the extra tooth from the trays. So it literally would not fit. It really wasn't a wasted appointment because during that time, me and the doctor really got a chance to talk about the whole process. He told me how many trays I would get, 21, how long it may take. And basically, the first three, the first four trays, he said, will be two weeks in. And then after that, it could be a week for each tray. So I should be done by the end of like june july so he showed me my scan i'll go ahead and insert a video of how my teeth are going to look and 
after that appointment, it was, I pretty much had to wait until I got my tooth extracted to go back. So I got my uh, tooth extracted January 5th. A week later, exactly a week later on the 12th, I went in to pick up my trays. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so when I had visited the doctor on the 22nd, he told me that because my teeth on the bottom are really close, that they might have to file some space in between them. And I was like, huh? file some space in between them. And he was like, it's not painful. You know, we just have to make sure that the trays can fit. I was dreading that first appointment because I knew that I would have to get, I would have to get my, my teeth filed. And I really wasn't feeling that. So the first appointment comes and he's just like, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put on the attachments. And basically what the attachments are, they're pretty much like these clear buttons, if you want to say, that they put on your teeth. And depending on how your teeth are, depends on how many buttons they actually put on your teeth. The attachments are what helps move the teeth. They click in with the trays and that's what helps your teeth move. So I was just like, okay, I'm getting these buttons and they... I, I watched so many videos so I knew what to expect, but when people was just like, oh, they feel like concrete, I was like, they feel like concrete, they're being dramatic. No, they literally feel like, it feels like concrete is on your teeth. It's like a hard square and it just feels so uncomfortable. So after he put the attachments in, he asked me to bite down and I literally could not bite down because the squares are kind of thick. So... You know it was it was just weird he removed some of the excess stuff around the attachments and then i was able to bite down but it still felt very uncomfortable so then he put on this i guess you could call it a mock tray so basically it's just like a a fake tray that they use to make sure that the buttons are in the right spot he put that in it was fine and then it was time for the real trays and he put them in for me the first time and i was like oh that's it but when i said that's it it was because i was just expecting extreme pain like right away i've watched so many videos of people saying that as soon as they put the trays on it hurt like right away and i didn't feel any pain it just felt extremely thick i never had braces before i never wore whitening strips so i never really had anything on my teeth like this and i don't know why i was expecting it to feel thinner <laughs> but it really feels like thick in your mouth you really have to get used to it so he puts it in he shows me how to put it on and basically he told me i should go like this when i'm taking them on and off use your right hand to take out the left side use your left hand to take out the right side and that has helped me and then he said okay so you do it so i'm like i was like nervous this is gonna be really tmi but there is a lot of saliva like, like it's, it's disgusting so when i'm taking them out I couldn't get the top ones out like taking the top ones out hurt so bad so I'm trying to take them out and I'm like Ugh. so I'm like pulling it and you just see all this alive but it was so gross and I felt so bad and he was like TJ it's fine like <laughs> it happens and it's definitely something to get used to but the more you do it it's like less saliva but it was just it's just really gross so I was just like wait I'm not getting any filing done because like I said the doctor told me weeks before that I would have to get filing because my bottom teeth were really close and he was just like no they fit nicely he checked and everything was good so I'm like okay they gave me my first four trays and then they give you this like little baggie this is the bag right here and in the bag they give you uh this pretty it's actually a pretty box so in the box you had the um the case which i'll show you in a minute these crystals right here which um are cleaning crystals and then just like a little pamphlet for you to read through and then they give you your sets of trays so they gave me all like the first four trays they just come in these little like packets like this the first three trays i'm changing every two weeks and then I counted up the days and I'm like, wait a minute, the fourth tray I'm only changing for one week. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, so I'm excited for that appointment. This is what the case looks like. See, so yeah, I took my bottom trays out because the list is already crazy as it is. But with this in, it's just ridiculous. So I just took it out for the sake of this video. Um, I'll be done quick. 
So I'm a, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to pop them right back in. I take this case wherever I go, whenever I have to brush my teeth. You have to brush your teeth after every meal. The only thing you can consume with these trays in is water. That's one thing that you do have to get used to, brushing your teeth so much. The most I brush my teeth a day is twice a day when I wake up, when I go to bed. But now I brush my teeth like four times a day when I wake up, when I eat breakfast, when I have lunch, and then dinner before I go to bed. It's definitely something to get used to, but it's honestly not that bad. And my teeth feel so fresh and clean. So I think that is a, a good thing about it. Your, your teeth are going to be like <laughs> so clean. So once my first appointment was over, I went to my car. And the first thing I did was I called my friend. And I was just like, he's like, yo, how does it feel? Like, what is it like? And I was just like the trays feel so thick and he was like what do you mean thick and I'm like it literally like it's just that's all I kept saying I wasn't in any pain you know it wasn't uncomfortable yet it just felt really thick and I noticed my lisp your lips your lisp is gonna be crazy the first few days I hear people say that it gets better with time I hope so because you know I work I'm an office manager and I'm always like on the phone or talking to clients and I was just like oh my god they're gonna be like what is wrong with this woman like why does she have a list? Yeah, once I got home, it's around 5.30 now, I didn't have dinner. I was like, you know what, maybe it'll be smart if I write down anything that I'm feeling so I know how everything's going to be like for the next time I change my trades. I don't know how that first day is. So around 5.30 p.m., got home, I wanted to eat. I took my trades out, didn't really have um, that many issues. But I noticed that when I went to go take my, like when I went to go eat, it was really hard to eat because I kept biting the inside of my mouth because I had to get used to the buttons. I, it was just so weird to eat with the buttons. My mouth was just it's starting to hurt because I kept chewing on the inside of my mouth. But once I put the trays back in, it was fine. And then I started getting a little worried because I'm like, oh my God, are the trays not fitting right? Because I don't feel any pain at all. I don't feel any uncomfortableness. Does that mean that the trays are too big or, you know, what, what's going on? Why did I say that? Because at 12 a.m., I woke up out of my sleep because I was just like, oh my God. I still wasn't feeling any pain, but I wrote down that it was feeling very claustrophobic. And if you're not used to having, you know, Invisalign trays in your mouth, you literally, it just felt really, really claustrophobic. Like, I just wanted to take them out. You know, maybe I was being a little bit dramatic, but I just hate being in tight spaces and just knowing that my teeth were started to just, it, it started, to, it was starting to feel a little bit tight. I was just like, oh my God, like I really want to take these out, but I'm like, no, I paid some bread for this. You're not quitting already. I started realizing that I was feeling uncomfortableness on my left side because I believe that I have a, um, like a bad feeling in one of my molars and I noticed that the tray was really like crushing on it so that is one thing that was making me feel uncomfortable but for everywhere else it really wasn't hurting at that point so now we fast forward to the next morning and it's around 6 40 in the morning now I'm getting ready for work and I really started feeling pressure on my left canine which is the tooth that's right next to my gap everywhere else was fine so now it's around 10 30 in the morning I'm about to have breakfast and Again, still feeling that pain in my canine and taking the trays out. Oh my god, the bottom was okay, but again, like taking them out on top in this area, I was just like, Do I really want to eat? <laughs> you know, I was like, Maybe I don't have to eat, but again, I was hungry, so I did eat, but I still had to eat slow because you have to learn how to bite with those buttons on. And I just kept biting the inside of my mouth, and I was just like, Yo. Maybe I just skip my meals today. Now, three hours later, I'm about to have lunch. And I was like, oh my God, TJ, maybe you just really want to skip lunch today. But I was so hungry because, you know, you can't just not eat with the middle line. I know some people just don't eat because they refuse to take the trays out. But I like to eat and I was going to eat. You know, I was like, you know what? No, this, this is not going to control me. I'm going to figure out a way to make this smoother. So I took my time. Don't rush taking the trays out. Just take your time. So I took my trays out, took my time with it, but this side was killing me, like killing me. I felt like I was yanking my tooth out. I know that sounds crazy, but it obviously I wasn't going to take my tooth out, but that's what it felt like. So as I'm eating, it just felt like I was getting food 
all around my attachments, the buttons, and it just felt really, really gross. So I couldn't wait to go back to the bathroom, brush my teeth, floss, all of that good stuff. Because you have to make sure you brush your teeth and floss. Because if you don't floss, any food left in your mouth will get stuck and there's literally nowhere for it to move. It's going to get stuck and that's going to cause a cavity. And we don't want that. And this is really random, but I'm a nail biter. So I was just at work and I was just going like this. And I'm like, wait a minute. I realized I can't even bite my nails because of the trays. So that is a good thing because I do want my nails to grow. So I guess that's a plus with Invisalign. So we're now on day five. And I have to say that day two into day three was really just the worst days for me. Like my top teeth felt like hell. And then my bottom teeth started hurting. So day two and day three you definitely gonna have to get some getting used to because that's when you really feel like the trays are moving i started to feel irritated and obviously i can't feel irritated at work because i do talk to a lot of people and i don't want them to see that i'm irritated but i literally just did not want to talk i didn't want to talk i didn't want to move my mouth i didn't want to do anything like i was just really annoyed that day and cranky now that we're on day five it doesn't really hurt as much i still feel like a little bit of uncomfortableness where my mola is but other than that it's it's getting to be fine taking them out i still feel pain at the top but other than that it really doesn't it's not really bothering me that bad it doesn't feel claustrophobic anymore it's just still something getting used to what else i have to get used to is i have an office job so i'm sitting at the desk all day and i'm used to snacking which made me gain weight <laughs> but now I do not snack. If I want a cookie, if I want some chips, I have to fit it into my lunch because I refuse to take these trays off any more than four times a day than when I really have to. I hear people say that you lose like 15 pounds in the middle line and I am looking forward to it because I gained like 15 pounds during the whole quarantine. So that's, a, that's the bonus about it. You can't snack. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the tray looks like. I'm gonna show you um, my second tray. So this is the top. And as you can see, there are, I don't know if you can see, but there are buttons on it. I thought that I did that by accident when I was taking my trays out, but then I pulled out tray two and realized that it's on all of the, the trays. So if anyone else has this, um, just pretty much take a nail file, smooth it out a little bit, and then that really did help. This is the bottom tray. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That was just my experience in my first few days. If you have Invisalign, let me know what your experience has been like. Does it get better? I hope it does. I'll probably just follow up every few months about the process. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for this new journey. I'm really excited to have straight teeth. So I know that all of this is going to be worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.